नाइन्टी डे एडोप्शन गारंटी और मनी बैक आहा Let's see. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and today we are talking about a project management app that is supposed to be easy to adopt. They are even betting on it. This must be good. If at any point you want to check it out, then links would be living in the description below. Let's start by talking about usability first because no app is good if it makes you shiver while using it. While I was scrolling through the website I observed they have so much stuff going on so I did see a potential for this app where it can be so versatile that anyone could make use out of it but I was worried about something how they will be able to put it all in one app and still not make it complex surprisingly when I did started using the app I found it to be quite user friendly though it did took me some time to get used to the interface like when you try to fly a spaceship loaded with features however after the initial setup I was glad sliding through it the quick setup did help me a lot it shows this mastery level at the bottom which is a nice touch and makes the learning process gamified you feel much better while learning all the stuff plus their documentation is honestly one of the best thing i've seen so far it's elaborated in a manner that you get youtube videos as well as written notes so it won't be much difficult for anyone getting started Second thing I'm eager to talk about is the integrations or what they call apps. This is the hideout of all the advanced features. Here we can enable those unique add-ons which can take Hive to another level. To extend the functionality of Hive, we can enable various features like form, analytics, approval, reporting, timesheet, external users, goals, etc. The list is presented beautifully like we can connect GitHub, Jira, messaging, news, etc from here itself. Generally what happens with most of the project management management apps is that they put everything in an app like a curry resulting in complex interface unlike here we can enable only those which we need and view these functions on the left side of the panel in the minimalistic style and not just these apps that are hiding here if you scroll down you will see box dropbox google drive onedrive slack zoom zapier etc so you can connect these apps and essentially share files with your team members mail chat video calls and so on even if i don't want to use these maybe because of privacy concerns you can use hive's email calendar file sharing with messaging that can be used for both individual and group chat the reason behind this app having so many useful features is that they focus on feature requests hive forum is a place where users can submit feature requests and upvote others which grabs developers attention on what to build next moving further on the features to projects it has different views to better absorb the projects like kanban gantt table view etc second you can not only create projects but we can also take notes and create pages and view everything at a glance like this one also we get the option to create project templates as well don't worry i've saved the best one for the last There's also AI integration in Hive that goes by the name of Hive Mind. It can take boring stuff down from your shoulders like you can ask it to suggest steps for a project, write content, create images and create custom requests. At last, let's talk about pricing. Here they have three plans. First, you can use it for free personally. Yes, it is a great starting point. While if you have a team, then going with a team plan for twelve dollars per month per user would be a good choice, as it unfolds multiple more functions. Third is the enterprise plan for big companies, so you should choose accordingly. For me, team plan is looking nice. It has all the features I need to manage my YouTube content with my team. The only thing I felt like a con to me was that you have to pay extra for those add-ons. Rest is fine. Great thing is that they have 14 days of free trial, and unlike others, here you don't need any credit card for that. So there is no harm in trying. To do so, you can head to the first link in the description below. Overall, after fully trying out the app, I do think that one can fully adopt to Hive in 90 days. The interface is intuitive, has so many features and add-ons, and I personally felt like they are trying to build a great product. However, that's it for today. If you are looking for an awesome browser, then you can check out this video right here, and. You can watch my recent video from here like share subscribe stay safe bye, -bye.